collect and represent data. Hey, Bubbly, what are you doing? Bunty, I have ten marbles. I am trying to find out how many marbles of each color are there. Come on, let me teach you an easy way to find that. Teach me. Today, in this video, we will learn about collecting data and representing it in a table. Bubbly, first of all, you have to make group of same colored marbles. First group of red colored marbles. Second group of yellow colored marbles. And third group of green colored marbles. Well done. Now create a table like this. Then? Now you have to write the names of the colors red, yellow and green in the column color of marbles. What do we have to do next? Now we have to count the number of marbles in each group. There are one, two and three red marbles in the first group. One and two, two yellow marbles in the second group. And one, two, three, four and five green marbles in the third group. Now we have to write these numbers in the table. Yes. Now in the column count of marbles, we will write three beside red color, two beside yellow color and five beside green color. Well done, Bubbly. You represented the data very well. Data? What is that? Making groups of similar objects, counting the number of objects in the group and filling that information in a table is called data. Bunty, this way I can easily know how many erasers, pencils, sharpeners and scales do I have. Yes, let me teach you one more way to collect the data and fill it in the table. Definitely. Firstly, you have to group the given objects whose data you wish to collect. I have seven pencils, five erasers, four sharpeners and two scales. Now, you have to create a table for the same. Okay, I have made this table. I wrote the names of the objects in the first column and count of objects in the second column. Now write which objects are there in the column names of the objects. In the column names of the objects, I wrote pencil, eraser, sharpener and scale. And now? Now in the column count of objects, you have to draw as many Triangles, squares or circles as the number of objects. So we will draw triangles to fill the table. Okay, you have seven pencils. So you have to draw seven triangles in the column count of objects. I have five erasers, so I have to draw five triangles. I have four sharpeners, so I have to draw four triangles. And I have two scales, so I have to draw two triangles. Absolutely right. Well done, Bubbly. Oh, wow! It is very interesting. Friends, in this video, you learn about collecting data and representing them in a table. In the next video, we will see some more examples of collecting data and representing them in a table.
children in this video we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table panti taught me how to represent data in a table after collecting it i can easily find out how many types and the counts of the hairpins i have with the help of a table so first of all i will make groups of similar hairpins first group of cloth hairpins second group of diamond studded hairpins third group of hairpins with roses and leaves and fourth group of hairpins with beads now i will count the hairpins in each group i have six hairpins made of cloth three diamond studded hairpins four hairpins with roses and leaves and one big hairpin with beads now i will represent all the data by making a table like this the number of cloth hairpins is 6 the number of diamond studded hairpins is 3 the number of hairpins with roses and leaves is 4 and the hairpin with beads is 1 wow i am having fun come on now let me find out how many chocolates of which shapes do i have so first of all i will group chocolates based on their shapes first of all group of circle shaped chocolates second group is star shaped chocolates and the third group is of heart shaped chocolates now i will count the chocolates in each group in the first group five circle shaped chocolates in the second group four star shaped chocolates and in the third group there are three heart shaped chocolates now i will represent all this data by making a table like this the number of circle shaped chocolates is 5 the number of star shaped chocolate is 4 and the number of heart shaped chocolate is 3 wow by collecting data like this i can remember so much information easily children today in this video we saw some interesting examples of collecting data and representing it in a table in the next video we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table children in this video we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table hey bubbly what are you doing you had taught me how to collect data and represent it in a table so i am using that method to collect data on how many objects i have and representing it in the form of a table show me oh wow you are doing great but you did not use the second method that i taught you yes now i will collect data about some more objects and represent it in a different way in the table i will draw pictures of the objects that i have okay you do your work and i will go now okay so as we all know that summer season is nearing so i will collect data about the number of caps the number of goggles and the number of umbrellas and number of hats that i have so first of all i will make groups of similar objects first group of caps second group of goggles third group of umbrellas 
and the fourth group of hats. Now I will count the objects in each group. I have four caps, three goggles, one umbrella and four hats. Now I will create a table like this and represent all the data in it. There are four caps in the table, so I will draw four caps. There are three goggles, so I will draw three goggles. Then there is one umbrella, so I will draw a picture of an umbrella. And there are four hats, so I will draw four hats. Oh wow, it looks good. Hmm, my birthday is approaching now. So I will collect data about the types and how many balloons I have so I can gift them to all my friends who will be coming to my birthday party. So first of all, I will make groups of similar animal shaped balloons. First group of dog shaped balloons. Second group of snake shaped balloons. Third group of bear shaped balloons. Fourth group of camel shaped balloons. And fifth group of monkey shaped balloons. Now I will count the animals in each group. There are five dog shaped balloons in first group. One snake shaped balloon in the second group. Two bear shaped balloons in the third group. Three camel shaped balloons in the fourth group. And one monkey shaped balloon in the fifth group. Now I will make a table like this and represent all the data in it. There are five dogs. So five circles. One snake. So one circle. Two bears are there. So two circles. Three camels are there. So three circles. And one monkey. So one circle. Wow! By representing data like this, I can easily remember so much information. Children, in this video today we saw some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing it in a table. In the next video, we will learn how to interpret data from the given table.